It's spicy. I love it. We're going to take a quick look at our second match of round three. This is our second and final match of round three. Remember, round three is a loser's bracket half. So anyone who loses is out of the tournament forever. Anyone who stays alive gets to advance to round four. So we just saw it was only the match before last that this alliance number two was playing in it. Adrian, tell us about their performance there. Well, d everything went wrong for Alliance Number Two in their last match. Um, you know, one of their top scorers couldn't it couldn't score for most of the match. They were down by so many points, almost 30 seconds in, that it was almost impossible for them to be able to come back. After that match, we saw probably 15 team members from 254 standing around their robot, fixing different aspects of it, and then doing all the tests. So I think that they're going to come back into this match at full force. And them and 2910, we already know, can put up close to 200 points. Um, they've been playing 3175 as their third pick. They've been playing ball defense. They have... Um, been trying to play man defense, um, and if everything goes right for this alliance, I would expect them to have a much better outing this time. On the other side of the playing field for match 10 is going to be our number five, five seated alliance. Steve, what do you know about this alliance? Well, their captains, 4499, the Highlanders, have been a uh, great all tournament at those shots from the launch pad, so it's very difficult to defend them. Their partners, 2046 Bare Metal, 6036 Peninsula Robotics, and 2486. Uh, Coconuts all able to shoot from different positions on the field and we have seen some great climbing from 2046 and uh, 4499 so far so they are uh, able to keep up and then uh, rely on their really quick reversal climb from that first pick that they have. This is really going to be a tight match it can come down to whose robots are operating most effectively but strategically what do you think the key to victory is for either one of these alliances Adrian? I mean, for the number, we already know that the number two alliance has a ton of firepower. But again, and like I've been saying all weekend, 44.99 is capable of scoring just as much as either of those robots if they are on their game. Um, so I think being able to slow down one of the robots on either side um, is really going to be the difference maker in this match. Of course, good autonomous modes make a big difference as well. We saw some experimentation in the last match that the number two seed alliance played in. Maybe they've got that adjusted. Maybe they revert back to what we saw in the first time. We're only moments away from finding out how it's going to shake out. Up next, we're going to send it down to the field so we can meet the teams and get excited. Let's go, Tom. Thank you so much, Mason. <laughs> All right, looks like we have a green field, so we'll get this underway. Red Alliance, we're starting off Team 254. From San Jose, it's the Cheesy Poofs. Their partners, 3175. From Gross Point Woods, Michigan. They're sponsored by 100,000 Food Places. It's Night Vision. Running now, we have 2910. From Bothell, Washington, it's Jack in the box. We also have on the Red Alliance team, 649. From Saratoga, it's MSET Fish. Blue Alliance starting off with 6036. From Palo Alto, it's Peninsula Robotics. Their partner is 4499. From Fort Collins, Colorado, it's the Highlanders. We also have 2046. From Maple Valley, Washington, it's Bear Metal. And the fourth robot here, 2486. From Flagstaff, Arizona, it's the Coconuts. This is an elimination match, so whoever does not take the W will be going home, or at least back to their pit. So it's a very important match. It's going to be exciting to see who takes it home. We have a thumbs up on the field. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go! Here we go! Playoff match number 10. Winner moves on, loser is going home. Right out of the bat in autonomous mode, we have a deluge of cargo up into the upper hub. 29-10 coming back for a few more. They get one, two in. Bear metal with one at the end. Out of autonomous mode, Blue Alliance taking a slight lead, 46 to 42, and we are in to the teleoperated portion of this match. Already out of the bat, it looks like 254 has fixed any issue they may have had in their last match. 
They are rocking and rolling on the field, putting red cargo up. On the blue side of the field, we have 44.99 looking to grab some blue cargo, but they are being absolutely harassed by Night Vision 3175. Night Vision was on the field in Einstein finals, giving them the business, and they're doing the same here at Chessy Champs. Right now on the blue side of the field, we have Peninsula Robotics 6036 contributing some blue balls up high. And their partner is Bare Metal trying to do the same. Meanwhile, on the red side of the field, we have Team 2910. That's Jack in the Bot from Washington. They are uncontested at this point, undefended. They are popping multiple cargo up into the high goal. You, they are so short, you lose them on the field, and before you know it, there's two more balls going up and in, just like that. Night Vision still playing defense on the Highlanders. It looks like they're having to, doing a good job at keeping away from some of that blue cargo. Right now, Night Vision tussling up with 44.99. They have to give him that position on the on the hanger, though. That is a protected position. We've got 45 seconds left in this match, and Red Alliance has pulled out to a 20-point lead. So this is still close enough to be decided on the climbs. That sounds means there's 30 seconds left in this match. Normally, you'd see teams moving into the hangar zone. But this deep into the playoffs, teams are trying to get as many points as they can into the high hub. We're going to see some of these teams shooting till the end. But right now, we've got both 29-10 and the poofs going up on the red side. We've got 44-99 grasping for the top rung and bare metal already up at the top. Meanwhile, on red, we've got three robots up, two on the traversal. On blue, we've also got two on the traversal. This one was pretty close right to the end, so we're gonna have to get the final scores in from our referee. Very, very exciting match here, playoff match number 10. We'll be right back with the final scores. All right, we've got a score going up on the big board and moving on is going to be the Red Alliance with a score of 188 to 162. That means our Red Alliance is moving on to round four. But put your hands together for the number five seeded Alliance teams, 44-99, teams 20-46, 60-36, and 24-86. Great job this weekend at the Chessy Championship. RSN, how's it going over there? It's going great over here, Tom, because we just saw some major points get put up on the board by that Red Alliance. Adrian, how'd you like that? I mean, that was absolutely incredible. Coming out of autonomous mode, it was literally tied. Um, but we saw 254 back into their prime shooting mode. And even with um, Defender, they sent a Defender onto the Blue Alliance. And even with that, they were able to pull away on the Blue Alliance, who was running a, th a three robot offensive strategy. It didn't even look like the defense of 3175 was slowing down 4499 that much. But Red just has so much firepower with 2910 and 254 that it was just overcomable for the Blue Alliance in the end. The Blue Alliance, with their triple offense strategy, really ran into an issue where uh, 254 and 2910 are so good at cycling. They shoot from positions that they know they can immediately pick up the next volley of cargo from, so hardly anybody does more efficient cycles than they do. So if you are behind a little bit with each of your three scores, as you were in this match, even with 3175 not... Uh, they, there were a couple of penalties for hitting uh, 44.99 in the um, 
or one penalty for hitting them against the launch pad. So a, even going up against the protected scoring robot, uh, they were able to slow down the Blue Alliance overall. All right, let's go to the replay booth, see a few items of that that you all highlighted. First off was this autonomous mode. It was just balls flying in all directions. You'll notice that 2910 up here, sorry, 2910 down here <laughs> is the one doing the five ball auto. Six, over here we've got the Blue Alliance trying to match that. Both alliances able to get a second volley and throw them up in the air. What a luxury to have two robots on your alliance that can do the six cargo autonomous, the one that's uh, closer to the field wall. And this red, these red balls all line up just randomly on the blue side of the field, and so the red alliance makes a, a go for them. We see 3175 starting to play that defense on the Highlanders that we were talking about. Remember, the Highlanders want to be in this spot where they can be protected and take their shots, and Night Vision is making that really difficult for them to get to that spot. If they make it, they're protected, but if they can't make it there, they're not protected. Yeah, and if you look right now, the Red Alliance is really starting to pull away because Jack and the Bot and the Cheesy Poops are basically just running the field. They have cargo basically evenly split between the two sides of the field, so their robots have almost split apart, and they are just, I mean, as so again, as soon as they pick up a ball off the floor, it is inside the hub. And that's what I love about this Red Alliance is just a few moments ago, 2910 was over here on the blue side of the field and Cheesy Poops were on the reverse. These two robots aren't playing zone. They're not staying in one area. They are just chasing the balls. They're so fast and they just see where, wherever they're hungry, they run there and go. A lot of other alliances try to split up the field, break it up, give people a zone to stay in. This alliance goes where the balls are. But it, you also have to break up the field into zones if you have all three offensive robots. If you have three robots going for cargo, you, you, can, you can get into each other's way, and then you're back down to just having two robots scoring anyway. So but when it, you have this D-bot, then you, you have them always just kind of out of the way, not worrying about the balls. This match was really a runaway at this point in such a good end game. We saw a double traverse by that Red Alliance. No triple traverse tra potential, which is actually going to be something valuable in our next round. So just to do a recap, we just finished round three. And round three was the round where folks went home if they lost, and if they advanced, they go on to round four. In round four, we have match number 11, which are the two winners of round three going up against each other. So we're going to have 33-10, Led Alliance, who just got that triple traverse going up against the Alliance we just finished seeing, led by 2910 paired with 254. However, in match 12, we're going to be seeing the winners from round two. That's, this Alliance has not had to play in round three, so they are fresh, they are cooled off. Adrian, what kind of advantage does that give to an alliance to have that much time? Well, having the ability to have extra time to prep your robots, change your batteries, double check things is really, really good. But sometimes when you have a break that long, you can almost lose the momentum. You know, these two teams that are playing in this first match, they both come off fresh wins. They're ready to go. Um, they're excited um, and they have all the adrenaline pumping. And so, um, you know, sometimes you can get caught sleeping a little bit when you have a little bit too much time between matches. And sometimes you spin out and you start thinking, oh, well, if they do this and then they do this, should we do this? And you're several iterations down into a strategy when try, you can get stuck trying to solve every little problem that there can be. You just have too much time to think sometimes. Well, we're going to get a chance to go in depth with both of these matches and talk about the teams and predict what strategy they might employ on the field. But before that, we're going to send it back down to our award ceremony as we continue giving out awards for the Chessy Champs 2022 event. Take it away, Field.